Most of us already know that Canva is the powerhouse for design, but did you know that it is also an insane photo editor like Photoshop level magic without the headache? So today we're gonna be turning this into this using Canva's sweet AI tools for photo editing. So let's jump on in to today's tutorial. First thing you're gonna do is go to canva.com. Go ahead, once you're in canva.com, create an account if you don't have one. If you need Canva Pro, hop down below, there's gonna be a 30 day free trial for you to use, just to use Pro, see if you like it, see what you think. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna create a custom size. We just wanna go 1920 by 1080. Of course, this is gonna depend on the size of your image. The image I'm working with today is 1920 by 1080, so we're gonna go with that but if you're working in Square, you're trying to create a profile pictures, anything like that, then obviously you wanna work in the size you need for that. Here we would go ahead and upload uh, an image here that you wanna use, but the image I wanna use is this one right here. Before I dive too much into all the fancy tools, I'm just gonna kinda scale it up here. One of the things I wanna show you first off is the actual color editing. And so a lot of times when we take pictures, when we take images, we crap, capture screenshots, things like that, our color and things may not be that great. Canva actually has, if you go under edit, just to adjust right here, you just click auto adjust. I don't know if you fully see, I'm gonna go back. Okay, that was the start. There was the auto adjustment, one click and already. Now let's say that I want to be separated from the background just a little bit. You can go over here under select area, go to the background. It's gonna select just the background and I can now darken the background and look how I'm now popping out from the image. But yeah, now look, if I can, I can darken this all the way down and now I am just, you know, really, really popping out from that. I could even go in here and I could make the background, you know, black and white if I really want to make myself pop out more. But that's not exactly what this tutorial is about. I just thought that was a really cool feature, made the image look really, really good. We're gonna do all this kind of in a, a little bit different way. So I'm gonna bring my brightness back up. I'm just actually gonna turn off the background. Uh, but there's also click adjustments. Like I could just select things here. Like, uh, let's say I wanna do this light. And now I could just go into this light and make it really, really bright. Or now I'm, I'm done with that. I can go back and say, I want to click, make this plant, you know, really, really bright, right? I really want that plant to pop out. Right, I can go in and click choose different things and edit them individually. We don't want to do any of those. So I'm going to get rid of that. Auto adjust is still turned on, which is what I want. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to show you a feature that I will admit doesn't work great with my particular image just because my background is so detailed. But if you have less detail in your background, here's a really great tool. If you go right here to edit and we click on over, keep under Magic Studio, we can click over, we can go to Magic Band, and it does exactly what it sounds like. It is going to expand my image fully. Uh, so all this white you're seeing here, it's going to expand it out so it fills that in. It's gonna give me four different options for what which one I want to choose. Now, as I said, my background is very detailed, so this actually doesn't work great. But if your background is a little less detailed, this might be a great option for you. So here we go. We can see that it is trying its best at least in my testing, yeah, see how it kind of blurs up here. It doesn't do a, do a great job, again, with all the detail, but I have used this on less detailed images and it was an absolute game changer. Like it saved a lot of images that I needed to work with. So there we go. I'm gonna hit cancel because I know it's not gonna work well with my background, but that's okay. I just wanted to show that tool off because it's such a great tool. So the first thing I wanna do here is I actually want to remove a few things from my photo that I don't want in there. So I'm gonna click edit. I can go right here to magic eraser. So my background, you know, don't tell anyone just because you're watching this video, I'm letting you in on a secret. My background is AI generated. It actually is a green screen. I know it looks amazing. I wish this was actually my setup. It's not. There's this like weird little bar here that I don't know why it's there. So I'm gonna make my circle smaller and I'm just gonna remove it. Okay, it seems like we need to do the adjustments after we do our magic tools. That's not a problem. So we're gonna reset our adjustments. Just like that, it removed that. Now, if I really wanted to, I could even come in here and remove, you know, something like these books. Say I don't want those books to be there, right? Then I can hit erase. And just like that. And there's actually, it left just a little bit behind, so I'm gonna erase it one more time. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna make my brush size just a little bit smaller because this is here and I have no idea what this is, but I'm gonna erase it too. There we go, absolutely perfect. Now, I've removed the things that I wanted to remove. Now I could actually add something in if I wanted to. I can go over here to the magic edit tab and I could select this area 
Now, granted, if I were going to do this, I didn't necessarily have to um, erase the books that were there. This would have just written over it. But I could add a dark stuffed teddy bear, right? Something like that. Now, we're obviously seeing the issue here. This is, you know, it's not as blurry as my background. So let's see if we can fix that. So I'm going to click adjust. Okay, before I do that, I want to go ahead and remove myself because I think I need to do this before I can do the adjust. No, yeah, I think I need to do this first. Let's do this first just to be safe. So we're going to go back and we're going to try to blur out this bear. I don't know if that's going to work yet or not. But one thing I want to do is I want to remove myself from this. And instead of just doing background remover and like I could copy the image, background remover, that's just a lot of work. We can use our magic grab tool. Just clicking on magic grab. You can see we can select anything we want. I'm going to choose myself. I'm going to click grab and it, you know, kind of looks like nothing changed, but now I can remove myself. Look at that. Now, the reason I did that is because I want to make myself larger in this image, you know, not that large. And I want to kind of shift myself over just a little bit like, so now I am removed and then I could go in at this point and then I could go to adjust and, you know, auto adjust myself, whatever I want to do. I think it looks pretty good like that. Now I want to go to this background image. I'm not selecting myself. I'm selecting the background image. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to adjust and I want to go to click. And I want to choose just this teddy bear here. And then I want to reduce its sharpness down a little bit. Maybe just give it a little bit of blur, reduce the clarity, reduce its saturation. I kind of want it to feel like it's fitting into that background. I need it to darken up just a little bit as well. Just a few things like this. But at this point, I think our image is just about ready for text. And so I'm just going to go right here under text and I'm going to choose this one right here. It just says outline. I just kind of like the way it looked and I'm going to put Canva rock. Of course, I'm going to change this to white so that it kind of pops out a little bit more just like that. And I'm going to slide it over here so it's kind of behind me. And then I want to go to my position tab and I want to go into layers and I just want to put it behind uh, myself. So see how it's kind of behind me now? I think that looks really good. Now, the last thing I want to do is actually want to go into this image. Again, I'm selecting the background. I'm going to go into edit. I'm going to go into adjust. And now I just want to bring my brightness down in that background to make it pop a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to bring my highlights down just a little bit too. I think that looks pretty good. I think we're going to bring all that down. I might actually bring that down just a little bit, something like that. I can honestly go over here to blur, but I can go into the whole image here and I can blur the whole image, just something like that, which should make uh, my graphic pop even more. I don't necessarily want that for my look, but I could if I wanted everything to pop just a little bit more. But as you could see right there, I mean, pretty quickly and easily, I was able to go in, add a really nice color grade onto the image, make the image look a lot better. I was able to remove things I didn't want in the image. I was able to remove myself from the image, size me how I want, darken the image. A lot of things you can do just within Canva photo editing using the AI tools. And I'll be completely honest, there are a lot of tools that I never even got a chance to touch because I didn't really need them. But if you go over here under these tools, you can see there is all sorts of them. There's obviously the background remover, which I've used numerous times. It works very, very well. This is what I used to make my thumbnails almost every week. I can go here, I can use magic eraser, the magic grab. There's also a grab text. If there's text in the image and you need to grab it, all these different things, tons and tons, great tools. Really hope the next time you're looking to edit an image, you'll look to Canva because the Canva image editor is phenomenal. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm dropping videos just like this all the time to teach you how to level up your designs and level up your stream using Canva. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one.